Hey everybody, today I will be reinforcing this IKEA lac table with two different uh, support files or whatever you want to call uh, the prints I, I got off of printables.com. Uh, one of them is a, there are two different, two different makers that make these files, uh, but one is basically an L bracket and then one is a uh, bracket on the inside. And as you can see, I've already put a lot of them on and I just kind of wanted to show you the steps that it takes. I, I've already done three of the four. So I'm just going to walk you through how I put them on and hopefully this will support my lac table just enough so that I can hopefully put another printer on it. Um, I know several people are going to go, uh, that's a cheap a crazy table to put a heavy printer on but we'll see i mean you know you gotta try when you got what is what you got around the house so so to begin what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the um the legs here under legs <laughs> and uh, i'm just gonna put some wood glue inside where i've already had i've had this table for years i think i i think i actually married my wife and she brought it with the marriage so this was this was quite a few years ago <laughs> i want to say probably 15 years ago um so we've had this table for a long time it has definitely been through the ringer but um, i'm gonna put some wood glue in the holes here and then i'm just gonna put the screws back in um, this is just one of the first steps to kind of strengthen the legs on this thing. Um, the brackets on the inside of the table, they, they do work really well. I believe most of these brackets were made for people that want to make the, um, the LAC, IKEA LAC table, make them into um, like enclosed printers. I'm pretty sure that's what these were originally for. Uh, my thought process was I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put a, a big um, Quiddy Tech x max 3 on it it's a really big heavy printer so um i would say wish me luck because this may not work out very well <laughs> um but this is how i put in the first the first bracket um i just can make sure the the um legs line up properly because i'm going to put the exterior brackets on as well um and i'm actually going to use these same brackets on another table that i want to use just to add a little bit additional supports but um i'm using uh, the screws I had from when I did my fencing, I actually had some fence screws. And there goes the camera. Hello. So I'm going to get this set up again. And <laughs> I think this might happen a few times. Because, you know, I like to have fun. So these are um, wood screws I got for doing the deck. Uh, basically deck and fencing wood screws. They're nothing fancy. I just happen to have a whole bunch of them. So that's why I'm using them. Um, and it is, it is pretty interesting. I put them in all of the pre-designed holes just because um, some of them screwed in really tight and some of them didn't screw in as tight as the other ones. So I think that utilizing all of the holes just to make sure you get in there and you get a good, uh, good strong, solid grip is, is probably the best bet. Uh, you know, you could probably skip a few, but I, I wouldn't. So um, that's kind of why I'm, I just used all the screws and honestly this is a, a pretty stout design um i printed it in a meta pla that i got from jo and uh, i like their pla it's just a the meta pla is a, a really strong pla um and when i use it for for stuff like i i tend to use it for stuff like this um so now you kind of see how how it turned out so that's that's basically i mean it's pretty straightforward you just kind of line them up and and screw them in and the print turned out really nice. You can see that it, it does take a few of them to get in there really good. And there it goes again. <laughs> oh, the joys of having a phone and trying to record videos at the same time. So here's the L brackets. Uh, these are external L brackets that you'll see. Uh, this, I just did this as an additional strengthening option um, because, like I said, the printer I'm going to be using is a very heavy printer. Um, I know a lot of guys are going to be like, why would you use such a cheap table to hold up a printer? But it's what I had, and I don't have to go out and buy another heavy-duty table and spend a bunch of money. Um, I can just very easily print these off on my printer and or these, you know, these little brackets, and away we go. So I'm going to give it a try at least. I am thinking about getting a stone for the top. Um, I've seen some people do that. They'll put a, a big heavy stone down. Um, and then they'll put like a foam or some sort of padding under, under the stone in between to kind of help absorb some of the vibrations. So I thought about doing that, um, and I might I might do that just to kind of 
just to try that and maybe do a video on some anti-vibration options that, that you know, because I've tried quite a few different things to absorb vibrations. So we're going to move on to the other side. Um, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all set up and done. But it's pretty straightforward. I'm not being too terribly OCD, um, but I do start with the the center screw here. And there goes one. Pretty sure I lose like two or three screws trying to do this. <laughs> And then I find them by stepping on them while I'm walking around my office. <laughs> so good times. Uh, but yeah, so I just, I mean, I'm not super OCD. I'm not trying to, you know, measure out all the holes. You can. I mean, I know a lot of guys do measure them out and make sure they're exactly perfect. I don't really care. It's a cheap table and chances are it won't work anyway and I'll have to replace it anyway. So <laughs> um, funny backstory about between this. We had this in my living room kind of hidden behind the couch and I was re re basically remodeling the living room, re reorganizing the living room. My wife's like, get rid of this stupid table. We've had it forever. Just get rid of it. And then I was like, I might be able to put a printer on it. <laughs> so here we are trying to still repurpose something, still give life to an old item, but it's actually pretty stout now. I mean, you can see the brackets work pretty good. I'm, I might take a, some paint and cover up those gray screws. I don't know. They kind of look kind of cool. Um, <laughs> after the video, I, I took a wipe and I wiped down the table. So, yeah, it's a dirty table. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. All done. Uh, feel free to comment below and roast me if you think it's such a stupid idea. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you have any questions, let me know.